Hello everyone, welcome to PackMath. In this video, I am going to solve this cubic equation that is x power 3 plus x is equal to 350. So first we will write solution and then we will write this question in the solution again and we will try to solve it. The question is x raised to power 3 plus x is equal to 300 and 50 and next step we will shift this constant term to the left hand side so this equation will become x raised to power 3 plus x minus 350 is equal to 0 and next step we will factorize 350 as x power 3 plus x minus we can write this as 343 minus 7 is equal to 0. By adding these two terms, it gives him minus 350 back. And next step, we will rearrange these two terms. So this equation will become x raised to power 3 minus 343 plus x minus 7 is equal to 0 and next step we can write this 343 as x power 3 minus this is 7 cube plus x minus 7 is equal to 0 now here in these two terms we will use the famous cubic formula that is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square by using this cubic identity we can write this equation as it will become x minus 7 times x square plus ab that is 7x plus b square which is 7 so 7, 7 square is 49 plus x minus 7 is equal to 0. No. We will take x minus 7 from these two terms, from this term and this term. So it will become x minus 7, it will be x square plus 7x plus 49 plus 1. As it was taken common, so only one is left here is equal to 0. Next we will add this one with this 49. So it will become x minus 7 times x square plus 7x plus 49 plus 1 is 50 is equal to 0. So there are two possibilities. This expression will be equal to 0 or this expression or polynomial will be equal to 0. So x minus 7 will be equal to 0. So simplify this x will be we will shift this minus 7 to the right hand side so it will become plus 7. So this is the first possible solution of the given cubic equation and next we will factorize it that is x square plus 7x plus 50 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of this type ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Comparing these two equations we will write the values of a that is 1 the value of b is 7 and the value of c is 50. 
no the quadratic formula for this quadratic equation is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a let us put the values of a b c from here in this equation so it will become x is equal to minus b so the value of p is 7 minus 7 plus minus square root of b square b is 7 minus 4 a c the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 50 divided by 2a the value of a is 1 next we will simplify this expression x is equal to minus 7 plus minus square root of 7 square is 49 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 and 4 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 5 is 20 so 4 times 50 is 200 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 next this equation will become x is equal to minus 7 plus minus square root of 49 minus 200 gives him minus 151 divided by 2 now we will do the further steps here x is equal to minus 7 plus minus square root of we can write minus 151 as minus 1 times 151 divided by 2 next we will spread this square root on these two numbers so it will become x is equal to minus 7 plus minus it will become square root of minus 1 times square root of 151 divided by 2 as we know that in mathematics the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota so we will replace square root of minus 1 with the complex number iota so this equation will become x is equal to minus 7 plus minus iota square root of 151 divided by 2 so there are two possible values of this x one is x is equal to minus 7 plus iota square root of 151 divided by 2 this is the second possible solution of the above cubic equation and the third possible solution is x is equal to minus 7 minus iota times square root of 151 2 so this is the second possible complex solution of this cubic equation and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for more videos thank you so much for watching take care bye bye